Hey bitches and besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and look, as you can see my gin hoodie, Silk Gin 1992, The Astronaut, RJ, RJ The Astronaut. Um, I love this, I got this on Amazon. Um, I'll probably post a link in the description if you wanna buy it. Uh, order like a size or two bigger than you normally would, maybe. Maybe. It's unisex. So like I normally wear a large hoodie and I ordered a 2X and it's a little big, um, but it's very warm. It's very, it's actually very hot. It's very thick cotton. So it's like wintertime where I am. This is perfect. It's so warm. Um, <laughs> today's video is BTS and Coldplay. Also, I got a new um, poster. This is a displate poster so it's like a metal and it's a magnet and it sticks to the wall so that's amazing um sorry it's been a while since i've seen you um i've been posting on patreon regularly uh we're about to finish season two of in the soup and start season one of bon voyage next week or the week after it's like very soon um but yeah, today's video is all about cold play and bts so i'm gonna be reacting to the my Universe music video, the My Universe Inside documentary, uh, BTS meeting Coldplay, whatever that is, and uh, Jen performing The Astronaut live with Coldplay on stage. So this is going to be a fun video. I'm very excited. Um, I wasn't, I haven't really been a big like Coldplay fan, um, but I've been listening to The Astronaut over and over again. Um, and it's kind of led me to listen to some Coldplay songs as well. So anyone who loves and supports BTS and Jen automatically just gets my love and support. So like I'm a, I'm a Coldplay stan now, basically, even though he's trying to steal my husband. Um, so anyway, I'm excited to check this out. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing check out my BTS playlist for all of my previous BTS reactions, go check out my Patreon if you want to watch BTS in the soup with me and other like variety content and other exciting stuff coming soon. But yes, let's go. All right, this is BTS and Coldplay or Coldplay, Coldplay X BTS My Universe official video. Uh, I'm gonna watch the music video first before the behind the scenes and like the making documentary thing because I feel like they're probably gonna be like playing the song in the documentary or like recording it or something. So I want to listen to the song first. I already see a bunch of planets. Let's go. Once upon a time, many years from now, music is forbidden across the spheres on three different planets, three. Okay, let me read it. It's, it's very early in the morning. On three different planets, three different bands defy the ban. DJ LaFrick on her alien radio ship unites them via holoband. Okay, so futuristic. All the while they're haunted by the silencers. How many planets are there? Seven planets? Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, I think, and then a sixth, but the sixth has another planet attached to it. So that's probably v <laughs> And then, uh, yeah. Okay. Parlophone Records. You They created a whole storyline. Absolutely no music. In the night I lie and look up at you. When the morning comes out, there's a paradise that couldn't capture that bright infinity inside your eyes. That's the most handsome hologram I've ever seen. Um, I love that it's kind of like this dystopian future and music is, I guess, outlawed. And so we're making music, but it's like an act of rebellion, which like 
reminds me so much of BTS like early music. Hey. Oh. I've heard this chorus. Wow, V. <laughs> I need to hear that low note again. Um, so like they're in two completely different worlds because he's in like a very futuristic mechanical, like robots everywhere. Oof, these visuals. Oof. RM's vocals. Super soul. Oh my gosh. What was the budget for this? Oh my god. Jen. Oh, oh, <laughs> we just got attacked by both my husbands. Hold on. I'm gonna have to find the lyrics because there aren't any lyrics on the official music video, but I feel like that's important. Sugar! Shut it down. That looked like the UFO in Jen's astronaut music video. Shut it down. Oh, they're literally silencing the music. <laughs> See, she's the real hero. What was her name? DJ LaFreak? She's the real hero. We are, I can't see because of this, the cards. We are all in the universe. What is this? Coldplay Beauty. <laughs> okay. All right. There's like Muppets. Um, okay. So that was 
my universe. I wish there were captions on it. I'm probably going to go read the lyrics myself because it, I was kind of expecting the song to be all in English because there weren't captions and because it was Coldplay, but obviously BTS wrote their own, like wrote their own verses and their own raps and stuff. I do like the song. Um, I don't think I like it as much as Jen's alien or <laughs> Oh my god, my brain. Jen's astronaut, but it's different. This feels it feels like a Coldplay song featuring BTS, which I believe is exactly what it is. Um it was good. It just sounded more like a Coldplay song. It was fun, and I really liked the music video, the universe, the world they created, kind of like the storyline there. I feel like that storyline could be expanded on. They could turn it into a whole like animated series if they wanted to. Um, like music is something worth fighting for. And that's kind of like the, the I guess the point they were making. Um, Cause I, I can't really imagine a world without music. Uh, and so that was kind of really cool to see. I hope that future never happens. Um, but yeah, that was really sweet. I'm really excited to see um, like the behind the scenes and them meeting and working and collaborating on the song together. This was probably filmed during COVID, I would assume, because it's really cool how they weren't together, but there were the holograms and it totally fit with the theme. They didn't have to necessarily be standing together like on the same stage and stuff because of the futuristic high tech theme. Um, it just worked and it worked really well. So I do like this song. It's probably just going to take me a couple more listens. That chorus is very catchy. Um, it's just not the type of the song that I would normally listen to sounding more like a Western song, but I have heard that. I have heard that chorus before. I think when this song first came out, I must've heard it on Twitter or I don't know. Um, but that chorus definitely was familiar to me. Is very good though. All right, this is Coldplay and BTS Inside My Universe documentary. Let's go. Do you say documentary or documentary? Yeah, that's fine. Because he did the Korean lyrics, right? That's so good. Oh? That's so good. And did they think about anything in the rap break or not? Oh, did they have it really? already? Oh, that's great. Sure. About 18 months ago, I got a message from somebody. They said, oh, BTS want to do a song with you. And I said, how, how would that work? I didn't understand how that could be possible. <laughs> my friend said the phrase, my universe, one day, and I wrote down my universe. I thought that's a cool title. And then I took it to um, my friend and said, okay, let's, let's do this demo for BTS. Yeah, maybe I'll do it yeah. with Jungkook. Okay. So that's cool. Ooh. So I'll do some Korean. That's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> they can, they can help. <laughs> yeah. Today has been one of the most fun days for me in the studio ever. It's so different. And I was, you know, it's been very difficult to get here. Oh, he to went Korea. to Korea. We've been very lucky with people allowing us to come in for two days just to record. And it was quite a stressful journey. And... I was a little bit nervous. I've never met BTS before. Oh, this is his first time meeting his new husband. Oh. <laughs> All right. Where are we going now? Oh, I do like that song. <laughs> Oh, he brought them so, presents. Today has just been like everything I could have dreamed, but a little bit better. With cute wrapping paper. Oh my gosh. Hello. Annyeong. Oh, their first hug. <laughs> Oh, 
왕 같은 느낌이긴 한데 저한테 한때로 해 JK 정말 저한테는 너무 큰 영향력이 있는 사람 연예인처럼 생각하던 사람이 같이 하자고 하니까 어? 어떻게 하지? 연예인이 우리랑 같이 하자고 한다면서 되게 신기했어 광고 음악으로도 많이 좋했을 음악들이 되게 많아요 한 5년 전에 내한 오기도 했었고 It's very sweet. He's like their 사실 어떤 사람일까 되게 궁금 Like senior. They look up to him. 되게 홍보라고 좀 민간적인 분들하고 순수하고 어떤 그런 편견이나 이게 없는 사람 같아서 사실 뭐 선배 뭐 이런 것보다도 사람들한테 너무 좋은 영향 또 조금 좋은 마인드 가지고 있는 분이니까 멋있는 사람이죠. Okay, I think it'd be fun like a real live performance. I'll sing, you'll sing, we'll sit king. We're happy. Okay, so we'll be done by six o'clock. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Ah, ah. So now we're just going to do like a chill. So, band, 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 Get him, get him, get him, get him. So, guys, something that eyes, eyes. Uh, you want me to sing this? No, or, I think V. V. Yeah. Just goes at the end of that. Oh, okay. Aw, uh, he wants V to sing it. That's so interesting. Like, he, Chris Martin knows their voices. Like, he knows who he wants to sing what parts. It's obviously a collaboration and, like, a joint thing. But it feels like he's also like producing the song as well. And he knows BTS well enough to know their voices and their different sounds. And he just thought that V would sound really good on that part. And he did. The Korean master. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Ooh. Ah, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was perfect. I 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 was I 이런 부분을 통해 사실 진정성이 굉장히 많이 생기는 거죠. 나를 밝혀주는 건 너를 사랑으로 숨어진 별. 내어 주는 너. Oh, I love it. 나를 세상 만들어 주는 별. Awesome. Oh yes. Oh my god. I like um, a lot of BTS's music because first of all, it's an incredible production and often very unusual structures and. Different melodies to the ones I hear. You know, Genius. Like a song like Mic Drop. Yes. Oh my god. It's not something we could ever do. So I, I admire it because it's a different skill. Uh, what's JK eating? New type of boy band, isn't it? I think it's when the old band was like, "Give me a chance to show you how to dance." But we're doing it with a dance. Those band bands are like, "I think they're doing it to get attention." I think they're doing it to get attention. 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 Good. Good song, BTS. <laughs> okay. You. When I'm without you, I'm. When 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 I'm. Please tell JK he's so impressive. Aww. Korean is so good. Thank you. 
<laughs> that's just choruses duh. which we can do maybe do together Jin and Jimin and then then in the because because we come from different sides together because we come from different sides ah, okay. if that's possible no? in the stadium you often do it so many songs in the stadium so you can make a very good song in the stadium there is no air there is no air there is no air but I just enjoy it Hi, Jimin. He does sound good. 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 He 다 이렇게 막 이런 느낌이 들긴 하더라. Wow, that harmony. Jimin。我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们的我们
ever sexuality. Period. You look at people right now who are divided by a border or can't be together. That's what the song is about. About how nothing can really stop people loving each other. Oh my God. That's alright, you just went to his concert. そう、ポニーは、あ、じゃあ、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
We're looking expensive in New York. Aww. We're so excited to see all the different instruments. Oh, did they perform together? Wait, did they release this? Look at J Hope's smile. Don't be shy, JK. To like the 10 people in the audience, how did they get so lucky? <laughs> Oh, it's probably they don't remember the English lyrics. Sugar's vibing back there. I wanna, um, oh. Yeah, how did he know that? He knew the dance. And then all these cars start bouncing, it's so cool. He's a J-Hope stand. I mean, he's coming for both of my husbands. <laughs> I need you to calm down, Chris Martin. I don't stand a chance. He's like a millionaire. Whatever. Oh, God, you're the one. Yeah. You're the one. So you have... Worldwide Handsome Jim, we have Worldwide Handsome Johnny. Oh, Aww. Okay, we have Johnny. Johnny. 20, 20 Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me just check it's in the right tuning. Oh, really? <laughs> He's touched. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Know, like, we've got Oh my god. First G chord, ready? This first G chord. Okay, now you're ready. Great job. Oh my god. Great job, Jay. You only need two more chords. Only need two more chords, and then he could play like every single Taylor Swift song. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I love Taylor Swift. 
가서 못칠 것 같아요 그냥 <웃음> 집에다 가보로 제 이름까지 써가지고 이렇게 사인해줬는데 집에 가보로 그냥 전시해주려고 새로 하나 사가지고 가려고 아 Okay, that was very sweet. That was very sweet. Um, they obviously had to edit and like just show us bits and pieces of it. So we didn't get to see a whole bunch of like Jimin or JK. That last part was all about Jen and uh, Chris Martin's like very sweet, very sweet, very touching moment. Um, meeting Megan Thee Stallion. Oh, I don't <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's probably uh, chaotic as well. Um, I want to see if they performed My Universe together, because if they did, I want to add that to this video. Um, but yeah, hold on. All right, so unexpected. Uh, I'm going to react to My Universe live at the AMAs, Coldplay, and BTS. Let's go. Oh my gosh. The, the volume's kind of low on this one. Oh my god, what is V wearing? His hair! Sing it, JK. V sounds so good. V looks so good. V and a headband is automatically just my bias. If you've watched my videos, you know that V and the red bandana is like the very first BTS photo I ever saved on my phone. Uh, yeah, probably visually V is still my favorite. Like my visual bias as far as like who I think is like the sexiest, cutest, most handsome man, it's V. I love his voice. And they said that we can't be together because because you're from different. Ooh, RM's like blonde or orangish hair. They're just having fun. Hey. 
Look at V dance and he's just having so much fun up there. BTS with the fireworks. That was really sweet. Um, the audio was kind of low, so I'm going to have to like turn it up in like editing and stuff. I love that you can tell that performance was them kind of just having fun. Like they were interacting with the audience, but for the most part, they were just <laughs> running around on the stage, just being kind of like, kids just having fun playing with their friend uh, and singing their song together um it was a really sweet performance i saw they also performed it at um the permission to dance tour i don't know if chris martin was there or not but i will watch that version uh when i react to the concert because i plan on reacting to the concert that's on uh disney plus probably soon soonish i think i'm gonna do hobie palooza first in J-Hope's um, second album um, before that, but it's it's coming up like soon-ish. <laughs> so that was really fun. I'm glad I added it on there, and we're going to end this reaction with Jen uh, performing The Astronaut. All right, this is Jen, The Astronaut with Coldplay from Buenos Aires. Let's go. Oh, he's just walking up there. I've seen some like cute little clips on YouTube or on Twitter. But I haven't seen the actual performance. Oh, he's even he's even got his pants rolled up like he did in the music video. I love him so much. Um, this song, I've listened to this song so many times. Um, I, I love this song so much. My album's just shipped, so I'll probably have those hopefully by the end of the week. Um, I'm very excited to open those. Um This all just feels so different, like watching this and listening to this after going through the um, My Universe and the documentary, like learning a little bit more about their friendship and how much like genuine love um, Coldplay has for BTS and for Jin. It, it definitely feels um, a, a different. That's what, yeah, that's what I saw on Twitter. Him giving him a hug. Okay, 
Ah, uh, there's the... How do I pronounce it? Wuteo? Oh, and the planets are up there. Same girl. Same. <laughs> Oh, the firework. That's my favorite part of the song, his vibrato on that note. <laughs> We're just being cute and dancing just after slaying. So fluffy. <laughs> That was completely just no backing track at all. That was Gracias, Jen. And Chris. Krigo. Saranda, me out of the. He flew all the way across the world to, to do that. To sing one song, hang out with his friend for like a day, say goodbye to his army, his fans, and then just fly back it's uh amazing like the the amount of love and respect and appreciation and just everything that they that Jin has and all of BTS has for army and the fandom and it's just cra it's it's unlike anything I've ever seen and it it just it feels very special um I originally was <laughs> like I did BTS week on my channel however many months ago because I wanted to listen to more of their music. I had heard Dynamite and Boy With Love and uh, Fake Love and, and just like some of their title tracks and I liked their music and I just wanted to hear more of their music. Uh, <laughs> I didn't expect 
like a week long BTS week. Let's learn the members names and let's listen to some more of their title track. Like I didn't expect to be here with the, with <laughs> everything. Um, but I, it, it's what happened. <laughs> I'm very happy. Um, this video was very good. I, I'm glad I got to watch the, the documentary. It gave me a whole new, it gave me a whole new love and respect, I guess, because my universe, obviously the first time I watched the music video like an hour ago, um, it was good. It was cute. It's like a Coldplay song with BTS in it. Like that's, that's what I felt. Um, but now after watch, after watching the documentary and then like them going to New York and then the live performance, like my whole perspective on that has completely changed. And that's what I love about BTS is it's like, it's just so much deeper. You can like, that's fine if you just want to listen to it on the surface and you just want to like, Oh, I like that song. That's it. But if you take the time to actually like get emotionally invested, you'll see that everything they do is so much deeper. Everything they do has a purpose and has a meaning um, and that's one of the things that I love so much about the group. So anyway, I'm sorry for rambling. I hope you enjoyed my reaction today. Um, I, I will be back soon with some more videos and I am posting every week on Patreon. So go check that out if you want to watch In the Soup and soon Bon Voyage. I'm also going to be reacting to... Um, What's it like burn the stage? There's like some documentaries and stuff I want to react to as well that I'll probably just throw in there randomly. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.